If you're looking for a gaming PC that's 550 and below, you came to the right place. I will show you not only the 550 great 1080p gaming PC build, but I will also show you how to make it cheaper and how to make it more expensive if you have more money. Now, the rule of this video is that all the parts have to be brand new, at least for the $550 version. Once we go to the cheaper or more expensive versions, we can switch it up to used parts. So if you're interested on in buying used, this video will be for you as well. And this PC will be great for a starter gaming PC at 1080p, every single game 60 plus FPS on average, even high settings. But of course, it will depend on the game. And then if you want to play esports titles, this one will be able to achieve 144 FPS on average easily in games like Valorant and CSGO. That said, let's start. With the CPU, I picked the Ryzen 5 5500. I think that this one is a bit better than the 12100F at the moment. In terms of gaming, both are really similar, but this one is cheaper and it has two extra cores. So for me, this one is actually a better choice right now. But if you want to go with the 12100F, feel free to do so. It's not going to be a huge difference. Then for the motherboard, I picked the Gigabyte B550M DS3H Micro ATX motherboard. This one has great features and is all that we are going to need for a gaming system. And once again, you can even go with with a B450 or something cheaper. With the memory kit, I went with the Silicon Power Gaming 16 gig 2x8 dual channel DDR4 3200 megahertz CL16 memory for 40 bucks. It's actually really, really cheap, and you definitely don't want to go 8 gigs on a gaming system nowadays. For the storage, I went with the PNY CS1030 500 gigs of M.2 SSD. Now, if you're the type of person that downloads a bunch of games, then I do recommend you doing the upgrade to 1 terabyte. But if you play esports titles, then 500 gigs will be enough and a good starting point. Then for the graphics card and the most important part, we have the MSI RX 66 sandwich for 190 bucks after a rebate card and a promo code. Now, if you can't find it at this price point, then I recommend you going with the GTX 1660 Super for 180 bucks. Now, don't worry about it. You will have the link to both graphics cards down below in the video description. If you can't find it, go with the 1660 Super. It's not going to be as good, but it's also not gonna be as expensive anyway if you can make the upgrade even with the 66 sandwich costing around 210 bucks then definitely go with the 66 sandwich it's a no-brainer but if you really don't want to spend more than 550 bucks then go with the 1660 super for the case i picked the thermal take versa h18 this is a budget micro atx case it has a front mesh panel and it's all that we are going to need for this type of pc the airflow will be pretty decent so nothing to worry about there then for the power supply i picked the thermal I'll take a smart BM2 550 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. This one is semi modular and it's actually a really good port. It's city rated, nothing too crazy. So, if you're planning on doing a bunch of upgrades, CPU, GPU to newer generations, then you want to go with something better. But for right now, this one will be more than enough. So with all the parts after promo discounts and mail-in rebates, the total price will be $556 and the gaming performance will be perfect. Like I said, 1080p won't be an issue on this PC. Now, if you want to make this PC cheaper, you can go to the used market and get the MSI RX 5600 XT, which is going to perform similar to the RTX 2060 for around 124 bucks. And then the total price of the gaming PC will be $488 or around that number. So you save around 50 to 60 bucks and you're getting actually a similar performance. So if you are willing to buy from the used market, you are going to get a really good discount on the system then if you want to go more expensive on the system for around 580 bucks you can get one terabyte of ssd instead of 500 so for 30 extra bucks you can get the extra storage but don't worry about it because if you don't have the money to do it right now you can upgrade the storage down the line and you can put another m.2 ssd because the motherboard allows that's why i recommend you this motherboard yes you can go with something cheaper but most of the motherboards that are cheaper only have one m.2 slot also, if you're looking for a motherboard that has Wi-Fi, you're looking to spend around 15 extra dollars. Don't worry about it. Once again, you will have a Wi-Fi motherboard in the video description. Then if you want something cheaper, but with one terabyte, you can mix it up and go with the 5600 XT on the used market and one terabyte of SSD. And the total price will be around $515. And then if you want something that's more expensive for around $615, you can get also the Ryzen 5 5600 
6600 with all of the other upgrades the terabyte of ssd and the rx 6600 now the 5600 is going to give you a better gaming performance so if that's something that interests you then I highly recommend you considering the CPU upgrade. While recording this video, I realized that there's a better motherboard for a cheaper price. So I will leave it in the video description because when I picked the parts, that motherboard was more expensive. But by the time that I'm recording this video, it's cheaper. So I will leave you both the first motherboard and the one that I found right now. If you got value out of this video, leave a like and subscribe. But most importantly, hit that bell button. That way you get notified when I upload these type of videos. And it's really important for you to get notified because I will upload the best PC builds for Black Friday. So if you're interested on in seeing that video, you really want to get notified. Because I believe there are going to be some pretty good deals for gaming PC builds and also Preville systems. So if you're into Preville PCs, it's for you as well. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you on the next one.